As a Christian mom who loves to write, I know how hard it is to actually sit down and focus between getting ready for the day, homeschooling, doing all the housework, and running errands. There is rarely a quiet moment, let alone write, without any distractions. And let's not forget, unless I put this little handy lid, there is no way I am drinking a warm cup of coffee or tea because I have to be reheating it. That's why I'm super excited to share with you guys the writing app that I found that not only helps me stay focused while I'm writing, but it gives me this sensation of like comfort and, and just peace. And I have to share it with you guys. It's called Focus Writer and the best part, it is free. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so that I could show you what it looks like and the aesthetics of it, which is my favorite thing. But before I do, I wanna share with you guys a few things. I had been searching for different writing apps and I found one that I thought could be very valuable, but I didn't find it to be user friendly. And maybe I'll do another video on it. Um, it wasn't free and it just had too many different options and different things that you could do. And I just, I'm looking for simplicity. Like I already have a lot on my plate uh, throughout my day. I just want something simple and that's what I love. I love two things about Focus Writer. Number one, because I'm always thinking about 10,000 things. I love how the app, when you open it, it covers your entire screen. And it actually helps me not like click away or try to like click on like a, another tab so that I can check my email. Number two, I love, 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 love that it has a timer. I am all about timers. Even through homes with homeschool or with the kids, I'm always like, okay guys, in 10 minutes, and I set my timer and they already know as soon as they hear that timer, time is up, pencils down, toys down, it's time to clean up or it's time to have lunch. So for me, a timer is perfect, especially because I can only write in small pockets of time. So if I can set the timer and just make sure that I only have these 15 minutes to write, it helps me just stay focused. I know I need to write within those 15 minutes. It's it, the timer comes off and it's like, okay, I got the writing for the day. It's like, it's done. I can check it off the list. You could use it for anything, for devotionals, if you're writing a devotional, if you are writing out a prayer, or maybe just journaling, or just brain dump, and you're just writing to get things out from your mind onto a paper. It's perfect. It's the perfect thing to use. Let me show you how it works. I clicked on Focused Writer, and look how beautiful this is. It, I love this, just the fact that it, it covers the entire screen. I feel like I, I don't have any distractions, no notifications, no tabs, just me and the words that I have in my mind that I just wanna go ahead and drop here on this blank page. You can actually go ahead and custom, have a custom theme um, to your background. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this up top and where it says settings, you go on to where it says themes right there and it's going to pull up a few different themes. The one that I initially had was this one right here. I love the whole like space and galaxy ish vibes. And then I also, I'm going to go ahead and click on default and we have all these uh, other ones here that you can choose from. Uh, let's see when I scroll down, that's the space dreams. I love this one as well the clouds and then it looks like a table. So there you go. But there's something that's extremely cool about having a custom theme. Let me show you. As you saw, you can go ahead and choose one of the themes that are already within the Focus Writer app. However, what's even cooler is that you can actually create, design your own theme by using Canva. I'm going to go ahead and demo this and I'm going to share my screen in just a couple seconds. I'm going to show you how you can design your own template, your background on Canva and how you can upload it onto Focus Writer. Let's go. We are on Canva and we're going to go ahead and create a custom size template. We're going to leave the units as PX, which is pixels. And what you're going to input under width is going to be 1920. 
And then for height, we're going to use 1080. This will ensure that the image that you design fills most of the screen. So it's going to be a full screen display. Let's go ahead and click on create new design with those specs. And now we're going, you can choose anything. You can go under elements and then we can start, let's say type in flowers and you can go ahead and click on photos. Now I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down and see which image I like most. I actually found one right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and just drag it and drop. Whoa. Just make sure it fits the whole screen. I really like this. I want to go ahead and download this onto my computer so I can upload it onto Focus Writer. The download is complete. Okay, so now we are on the Focus Writer app. What are we going to do? We're going to go over here where it says settings. We're going to click on themes and we are going to click on custom. Well, it's already there. And then we are going to click on new right here on the right hand side. Once we click on new, you want to go ahead and scroll down just a little bit where it says window background, where it says image. That's where we go ahead and click on this. And then now, as you can see here, the image downloaded onto my computer. I'm going to double click it and that will be my new background. I'm going to go ahead and just click OK. And as you can see, guys, we have that image that we got from Canva. There are still two things that I want to share with you that are extremely helpful. So stick with me while we're here on Focus Rider. I do want to go ahead and go here to where the time is and I'm going to go ahead and click on click on it. And this is a timer. And when you click on new, you're going to go ahead and set the actual time and you can set it for you can set the timer for, for example, it's, if it's going to be, I want to write from now to, uh, let's say it's going to be 545. I can go ahead and do that. I set the timer for any time you'd like, and you click on okay, and you can close it. When the timer goes off, it's going to appear right here on the right hand side where I'm pointing. So you'll be able to see it. Something else that I did want to show you is daily goals, which I think is pretty cool. So when you click on tools up top and you go down, you're going to see something called daily progress. So let's say, for example, if you were using it today, it will reflect uh, the streak that you're on, whether you've been writing for one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, and so on and so forth, which is extremely cool. And it's helpful and it gives us a visual of how we're staying committed to consistently writing. And also I'm going to click out of that. And if, I mean, this is not something that I would use, but it is there for you to use. I cl I'm clicking on settings and I'm going to go here where it says preferences. So under preferences, you will see how it says type writer sounds. You can go ahead and click on it or opt out of it. And what it basically does is you can actually hear the like the typing sound as you are typing for me it can get pretty annoying but it is an option there that's there for you nonetheless i hope you found this video helpful and let me know on the comments down below if you've used this already or if you're thinking of using it and for what reason are you writing a book are you going to use be using it for journaling i like it for a little bit of everything especially something like prayers like writing out my prayers i think it's the perfect platform to keep me focused. Now on my next video, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys the, a little bit about a secret project that I'm working on that I haven't really told anyone. It's a little bit personal and I talk a little bit about my childhood and some trauma that I endured. And I also share how important it is for us to share our stories with others, whether it's through a video or through book publishing because your story and how you've overcome certain things in your life can be the key that unlocks someone's mental prison. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video. God bless.